Hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying your day because I have some great information for you. How many of you have heard of the second heart? Did you know you have a second heart? What if I told you you have a second heart in your body working 24 seven? Now just think about that. You actually have a second heart in your body working 24 seven to keep you alive. And no, I'm not talking about a romantic partner or anything, not your second heartbeat or your one true love. No, I'm talking about a powerful muscle you use every single day. So today we're going to explore your calf muscles, your muscles behind your leg right here. That's your second heart, believe it or not. Stay tuned because I will share some quick exercises for your calf muscles that will help with your circulation. Okay, number one, the problem of gravity. Your heart is an amazing pump, but it's a challenge to push oxygen rich blood all the way down from your heart, all the way down to your feet. And then against gravity, pull all the deoxygenated blood, all that deoxygenated blood and waste products back up to your heart. Let me say it again. As your heart is pumping the blood, it's, it, it's pumping it throughout, but it's a challenge for it to push all the blood, all the oxygen rich blood, all the way down to your feet. And then against gravity, bring it back up again. So what helps your heart? That's where your calves become the superheroes. The calf muscle is primarily made up of gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. So these muscles are encased in a tight compartment with deep veins running right through them. The gastrocnemius muscle is the large prominent muscle located in the back of the lower leg. This is commonly known as the calf muscle. It's one of the two main muscles that make up the calf, the other being the soleus. This muscle plays a key role in movements like walking, running, and jumping by helping to flex the foot at the ankle and bend the knee. You can feel it working when you stand on your tippy toes or push off the ground while walking or running. The soleus muscle is also located in the back of the lower leg, lying just beneath the gastrocnemius muscle. Together, they form the bulk of the calf. While the gastrocnemius is more superficial and visible, the soleus is a flat, broad muscle that sits deeper, attaching to the tibia and the fibula, the bones of the lower leg, and inserting into the heel via the Achilles tendon. Its primary function is to assist in plantar flexion, pointing the foot downward, especially during activities like standing, walking, or running when the knee is bent. Isn't that amazing? Your skeletal muscle pump, your, your, your second heartbeat, which are your calf muscles, are actually contracting, and they're compressing those deep veins. And with this compression, it pumps the blood upward when you relax your foot, okay? When you relax your foot, the veins fill with blood, ready for the next contraction. The human body is an amazing machine. Just by, when I, just by learning that, you're just like, wow, it's amazing. Okay, number two, the evidence. Why this isn't just a cool nickname. This is not just a fun fitness myth. It's solid physiology. Research has consistently shown the critical role of the calf muscle pump. A pivotal study published in the Journal of Physiology demonstrated that the calf muscle pump is responsible for returning over 60% of your blood from your lower limbs back to your heart during your walking, while you're walking. That's all happening. Now, without it, your heart would have to work significantly harder. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I was just so impressed to find that out. That means your legs of working hard along with your heart to circulate your blood all the way up to the brain, back down to your feet, all the way up. And that goes on, especially when you're walking or even jogging for that matter. This is also a key concept in vascular medicine. The American Heart Association and other bodies recognize that poor calf muscle function is a major contributor 
to issues like chronic venous insufficiency, varicose veins, and even deep vein thrombosis. You've heard of DVTs or a blood clot. That's deep vein thrombosis. So sitting around is not good. Laying around all day, not moving, not exercising, it's not good to do that every day. You know, you want to do something as simple as walk to keep your blood circulating and to prevent your blood from pooling at the bottom of your legs, creating that edema, the swelling that you see some people have. You want to keep moving to keep that blood pumping, to keep it flowing. You definitely want to stay on top of your calf muscle function to prevent the venous insufficiency, the varicose veins, all of that stuff, and God forbid, the DVT, the blood clot. Definitely want to prevent that. A weak second heart means blood can pool in your legs, leading to swelling, pain, and increased health risk. So you definitely want to keep those calf muscles strong. So you've got to get moving. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You've got to get moving and keep exercising those calf muscles. And number three, how to train your second heart. So how do you keep this second heart strong and efficient? It's simple. Exercise number one, the calf raises. This is the most direct way. You can do it anywhere, standing or sitting. Exercise number one, this is called the calf, the calf raise. This is the most direct way you can do it anywhere, standing or seated. Rise onto your toes like this. Hold for a second and lower slowly. Turn to the side so you can see. Rise into your toes, hold for a second, and lower slowly. I can show you each angle, whether you're standing or sitting. Lower slowly, okay? So you're gonna do three sets of 15 to 20 reps of this, okay? The slow lowering phase is crucial for building endurance in the muscle. So I'm standing. So even if I'm sitting, doing these calf raises are pretty easy. You see that? Pretty easy, even sitting down or standing. Exercise number two, walking and running. This is the most natural way to engage the pump. Every step is a contraction. The key is consistency. And exercise number three, ankle flexion. If you're seated all day, which is terrible for your calf pump, by the way, make a conscious effort to point and flex your feet periodically to keep moving. Let's say if you're sitting around all day, you're laying around on the couch, hopefully you won't have your shoes on. <laughs> Let's just say you're laying around, you're being lazy, okay? And you just don't want to get up. You just don't feel like it. I do a few stretches, of course, but you want to flex your feet. You see this? You're going to flex. Point and flex. You see how I'm flexing? Flexing your, you're going to point and flex your ankles. You're going to keep doing that. Even if you're just laying around watching TV, you're going to point and flex your ankles. Okay? That's very important to do that. That's a simple way of pumping your calf muscle. And as you can see, while I'm pointing and flexing, the calf muscle is still contracting. So whether you're standing or sitting, it's gonna contract. And you're helping that, you're helping the leg mu muscles pump. You can see this leg too, as I'm pointing and flexing. You see the calf muscle? How that's tensing up? So every time you point and flex your feet, those calf muscles are pumping and you're helping that blood circulate. So if you're a person who got injured and you're stuck in bed all day, hey, if that's all you can do, just do that. Even if you can't stand, just to keep that blood flowing. And if you can't do that, physical therapy will probably be coming around helping you and assisting you. You see how sometimes they come and they move the patient's legs back and forth and they flex their feet. That's to get that blood circulating. So it's very important to keep doing that throughout the day because even with those simple movements, it will make a difference in your calf muscle. Remember to exercise the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. Some of the best exercises are the standing calf raises, but there's many different variations to this exercise. You can use it 
by doing jump squats, jumping up and then squatting down. You can do something as simple as taking the stairs every day. Instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs, because as you walk up those stairs, you will be engaging these muscles. So continue to exercise that calf muscle pump for better health and circulation throughout your body and to prevent leg swelling and blood clots in your legs. These simple exercises will help reduce the strain on your primary heart. So there you have it. By training your calves, you're not just building shapely legs, you're actively supporting your entire circulatory system, reducing the strain on your primary heart, which in turn, you will be investing in your long-term vascular health. If you found this information fascinating, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, comment, share it, and Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate all my subscribers so far. And just stick around because I have more interesting facts. I have a selection of information I'm bringing your way because not only do I have my ZepBound community that I want to educate on ZepBound, I also have people who just want to know healthy facts. And there's so many healthy facts out there. So many things about this fascinating human body that I can share with you guys just from my years as an ER nurse, as a registered nurse, and before that, when I was an LPN and even a CNA in the beginning, there's just so much I've learned over the years and I wanna share it all with you. So just stick around, I thank you, I appreciate you. And just remember, if you're healthy, you're wealthy, but most importantly, remember to take care of your hearts, both of your hearts, the heart up here and your calf muscle, the second heart which will help this heart work even better. So I wish you all a great day. Thank you. And let's get out there and start moving and pumping these calf muscles. Have a good day. Bye.